Every man, driver nation, what's going on? Welcome back to What's the Difference? I'm Dave Erickson. Today we're looking at two five passenger compact sedans and they are the 2017 Honda Civic and 2017 Chevrolet Cruze. Before we get started, if you have any suggestions on vehicles you'd like to have me review or do a comparison on in the future based on similar criteria, I like to pick about 10 of them in some kind of variation, let me know in the comment section below. Also, please click that subscribe button. I'm uploading lots of videos and I don't want you to miss anything. The Chevy Cruze is Chevy's best-selling global vehicle since 2008. They sold over 4 million Chevy Cruze vehicles. So very popular for Chevy and obviously the Honda Civic is very popular for Honda. Also, coming up this spring, a turbo diesel will be available with the Cruze. So if you're in the market, maybe hold off a little while if you're interested in that. Both of these also have hatchbacks new this year. Of course, the Civic is available in a coupe, sedan, and now hatchback. But there's a lot of different numbers here that we're going to show you back and forth to help you do some shopping ahead of time. Not a review, but just some comparisons to help you in your uh, research process. Let's go ahead and kick things off with trim levels. There are five trim levels for our Honda Civic. You've got an LX, EX, pay attention, EXT, you know what that stands for? Maybe you do. Uh, EXL, and I'll just put a T for touring. T, turbo. So five trim levels. Over here on the cruise, you've got four trim, level, four trim levels, L, LS, LT, and a fancy word, Premier. I don't think it's a big deal when deciding between two different vehicles on how many trim levels one has over the other. It's just more options. It does get interesting when we talk about engines. We'll begin with the Honda Civic. I'm going to kind of print small because there's a lot of information here. We have a two liter inline four. There's also a 1.5 liter turbo, just the T, <laughs> inline four. Now your two liter will get you 158 horsepower and 138 pound-feet of torque. But when you jump up to the turbo, of course, you're going to get more. We're going to go 174 and 162. Made it to either a six-speed manual, depends on what you get, and a CVT. So those are your options there. I'll tell you about some zero to 60 times in a second. Now, the engine on the cruise, one standard engine, it is a 1.4 liter turbo inline four, 153 horsepower, 177 pound-feet of torque. You got a six-speed manual and a six-speed automatic transmission as your options. So you can see that if you go with the Honda, you're going to have more potential for horsepower on either side. Uh, Pound-feet of torque doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't compete with what the Cruise does in uh, torque. Zero to 60 times, best case scenario, we're looking at 7.7 seconds. For the Cruise, over here, 6.8 seconds. Very interesting. Okay, moving on to miles per gallon. Now, since there's so many different trim levels, engine, transmissions, I'm gonna give you the best case scenario on fuel economy. For the Civic, I'll put it right here. You're looking at 32 and 42, city highway. Best case scenario with a cruise, 30 and 40. Very close. I think one of the things that these manufacturers like to do, they like to, they like to go over that 30 mark for a city and over that 40 mark at some point, just because it makes it look more competitive. So both of them did it on uh, city and highway. Fuel tank, this came up in my last video when I did a comparison or uh, a what's the difference. You're looking at 12.4 gallons on your Civic and a little bit more over here, 13.7 gallons. And people will tell you that's why the fuel economy isn't as good. You got a bigger gas tank, you're carrying more weight, which leads us into curb weight, another element that uh, helps you see the big picture between the two. Now, because we do have different trim levels, there is a bit of variation on weight. Looking at between over here, I'll go 27.42 and 29.23. That's the pounds difference. So a 200 pound difference between certain trim levels. Over here on the cruise, 
35 and 29.89. So the cruise is a little bit bigger on both ends, but they're right around the same, same curb weight. So we're just trying to do what's the difference. These cars are so very similar. Okay, width and length. People like to see these numbers because once we get the width and the length, then we can kind of say, oh, they've made the best use of their interior volume for passengers as well as cargo. So for the width of our Honda Civic, let's move on to that one first. Looking at 70.8 inches. Over here, 70.5. Really not that big a difference at all. Length, 182.3. 183.7. The cars are very, very similar. You, you won't notice a difference probably at all. Now we'll move into passenger volume. Hey, you're in the car, you have to go somewhere. How much room do you have? Well, maximum passenger volume for our Civic. Here it is. Check it out. 97.8 cubic feet. 94 cubic feet. So which vehicle is making the most use of their space? Let's go on to cargo volume. Okay. Now we're looking at, now there's a couple different cargo volume numbers out there uh, for the Civic. Everything is based on, well, it's 15.1 right here. 15.1. Somebody will put a three right there. Cubic feet, cubic feet of volume. But if you have the touring, you lose a little bit. It's 14.7. Okay, not a huge deal. Now over here on the cruise, you're looking at 14.8 and depends on what trim level you go with, 13.9. Okay, now we're starting to see some differences here on how Honda utilizes the interior versus how Cruise uses the interior. Does that matter to you? Well, that's what the numbers say. Now wheel size, I don't know, just for fun because it stood out to me. You've got 15, 16, 17, and 18 inch wheels available on the cruise. Four, but only two with the Civic. And that is 16 and 17 inch wheels. Okay. Finishing off with the MSRP because that's what we all kind of care about when it's all said and done. Here's your range for your Civic for 2017. 18,740. 26 to 25. Any guesses on what our cruise is? 16, 9, I think it's 25 or 75, but pretty close. And 23, 9, 4, 5. And maybe this is why Cruise is selling a lot of their vehicles. But just when it comes to the differences based on numbers on these 10 criteria, that's what you're looking at. Make your own conclusions, uh, but I think this kind of helps you out with your shopping experience. Again, if you have any suggestions on other vehicles you want me to do a comparison on based on very similar criteria, I'm just picking some hard numbers. There's always a story behind the numbers, and I think we kind of discover that as we go through it. Uh, miles per gallon, fuel tank size, curb weight. It all makes sense when we talk about it out loud. Uh, please hit subscribe once again. And thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing your comments and suggestions for my upcoming videos. Adios. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's Dave. I just want to say thanks once again for supporting every man driver and watching my videos. Can you do me a small favor? The next time you're in the market for a new or used car and want to schedule a test drive or just want to get a really great price quote, from a dealership of your choice in your zip code, click on the link below and fill out a short form. It's car.show forward slash everymandriver. Now it's totally free to you and there's no obligation whatsoever to buy or lease anything. It's just a quick and easy way for you to help support my work and keep this channel going. There's also a free phone number, 844-765-0610, and you can talk to a car segment specialist for car shopping advice and direction. That call is also free to you. The link again, car.show forward slash everyman driver. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.